The iPhone 8 is the first iPhone with wireless charging built in. But what wireless chargers should you buy? Should you get Mophie's? Belkin's? Or should you go for something a little less expensive? Let's check it out. I understand that looks are largely subjective, but I think that Mophie's wireless charging base not only features the best build quality, but it has the sleekest overall design. It also comes with a power brick in the box, which is not something you can say for the cheaper wireless chargers that you'll find. Unfortunately, the barrel style power connector is designed so that it only works with Mophie's wireless charging base. I do appreciate the cable. It is fairly lengthy and it also isn't kinky, meaning it doesn't have a lot of kinks in it. And again, you see the power input and you can see that the cable is designed to fit very flush with the wireless charging base. Very nice design. By far, in my opinion, the sleekest overall design of all of the chargers and it comes with the most robust build quality. Like Mophie's charger, Belkin's Boost Up Wireless Charging Pad is available in the Apple Store and it comes with a unique white design. It also has the largest surface area of any of the chargers that I tested. It comes with the power brick, as you see there, it's kind of large though, I don't really like that power brick. And like the Mophie, it comes with a specifically designed power connector that only works with Belkin's charger. The cable, as you'll notice, isn't as nice as the one included with Mophie's charger. But again, it works and you can see that power connector, how it sits fairly flush with the base of the wireless charging pad. Now both the Belkin charger and the Mophie charger are available in the Apple store and they cost $60 each. But how do they perform? Unsurprisingly, they are very similar in performance. You're going to get a performance basically on par with a 5 watt power adapter that comes in the box of the iPhone 8. So that's somewhere around the ballpark of about 20 to 21% after 30 minutes of charging. Again, not great. The good news is that you can find third-party chargers on Amazon like this one right here from Anchor. Now, these chargers aren't as nice and as polished as what you'll find from the Mophie or the Belkin charger. For instance, none of them come with a power adapter and they all use micro USB, which isn't reversible. However, it is ubiquitous, so that is kind of a plus and minus. Anchor's wireless charging pad is Qi enabled, of course, and it features the smallest surface area of all charges I tested here. Now the downside to that is that it's only capable of providing 5 watts of power. So that means this $20 charger isn't capable of supporting fast charging, although it does a pretty good job at slow charging. Spigen's Essential Wireless Charging Pad comes with a very unique square design that none of the other chargers can claim. It also features a very lengthy, high quality micro USB cable inside the box, which isn't something that you find with the other chargers. Like all of the other chargers in this video, it is Qi enabled and it's gonna set you back about $25, give or take a few bucks here and there. And then the final charger on our test is from Odium or Odium, I don't know how to pronounce that, but anyway, it is the only charger in this video that allows you to stand your iPhone up while it's charging, which is great. So you can browse your Twitter timeline and charge at the same time, which I've actually done quite a bit lately using this charger. I found this one on Amazon for about 20 bucks. So for less than half the cost of the Belkin or the Mophie charger, you can get one of these third-party chargers. But how do they stack up when it comes to charging speed after 30 minutes? I found that they were very similar. I've tested all these multiple times over. I did find the Odium to be a little slower, but not by much. So if you're just looking for a whole bunch of chargers to place around your house, you'll probably be best off by going the cheaper route, to be honest. In some cases, you can get three of these chargers for the price of one of the Mophie or one of the Belkin chargers. That said, the Mophie and the Belkin charger are chargers that Apple is actually endorsing by placing them in its stores, so you have to keep that in mind. In the upcoming iOS update, which will increase charging speed by providing 7.5 watt wireless charging support, is guaranteed to work with the Belkin and the Mophie charger. However, the jury is still out as far as the other chargers go they should support the faster charging because all of them, except for the Anchor, output enough power to technically support fast wireless charging. Of course, we will provide a follow-up video with more details. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.